right guys welcome back to another episode uh today what we're going to be working on is this now i'm switching up the design a little bit more uh i wanted to go ahead and get the uh part uh for the entrance over on this side i was thinking about the d design a little bit more and i think it would probably be better to have the design um go on to this side instead so I i'm actually even thinking about putting a door over here as well and reason for that is we'll have kind of like an awning thing that comes around here and that will give us a little bit more shelter for resources things like stone and stuff like that but it will also um give us a reason to um utilize some of the space that we have by the water as well so i'm going to go ahead and set just the regular stone brick ones i think for this and there's going to be like a roof that goes up here or something. I'm not sure just yet what I'm going to be doing for the upper part, but um, yeah, actually, I'm not entirely sure fully what I want to do with it either. So we have five blocks there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just add bricks along here and that should give us a nice awning area. So we'll change that to this and configure it like that, I guess. Might want to uh, switch that around. So yeah, uh, I've had an interesting weekend. <laughs> I've been trying to get a computer running and um, I've thankfully found this really uh, great computer shop uh, place nearby and they've been helping me with it. And um, yeah, we haven't got it running just yet, but um, I'm hoping that we can sort some of the issues out with it. Uh, I've built it from scratch, but um, it's got some problems that need to be looked into. Graphics card might not be working, but I'm not too sure why or what's up with it, but we'll see what's going on. So yeah, that's basically what I've been trying to do this weekend. A little bit hard. I haven't been gaming that much, but it's all right. It'll sort itself out over time. So yeah, I was thinking something like this, and then what we could do is we could have an awning go up, I guess. Actually, you know what? That will have to be pushed back a little bit. So we'll put it over here like that. So yeah, like an awning that goes up and then we'll have that wall part up here. I think that will work out pretty good.
Great, so I got most of this part planned out. We got most of it um, on the first floor, I think, built. And we're still working on some of the limestone parts, but once they get that done, they'll be working on getting the other supports and stuff in, hopefully. And then we can start building up the residential part, which is these parts over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it the size that it is. I was thinking about moving it the door a little bit further down and having it uh, be like a multi-complex, but I think having a larger size will be just as good, probably. So we'll probably leave it like that. And I know that this building, this, this unit doesn't have like windows on this side, but this one has nicer windows, I guess. It, it's just the way that it's going to be designed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build up here and we're going to tell them to get the um, roofs and stuff on. I, I Putting in the flooring because there is a spot here and we're not going we're going to need some sort of support so if we use floors instead we'll be able to build on top of it without putting a actual support in so that's the general idea that i want to do over on that side at least i think i did the same for under here i'm not sure i think i did something like that there's like flooring yeah there's flooring under here as well just to kind of give it that extra support as well without needing too many supports for actual support we have these ones which are mostly decoration but also helps with the roof and stuff at that point but you know just little things like that will make it a little go go a little bit further i think and as far as lighting and stuff i haven't quite decided on what i want to do with that just yet I know up here what we used was torches, I think. Yeah, so we might use torches again for that. And then on the first floor, maybe uh, candles. I might be able to use candles on the uh, first floor. I'm trying to be kind of mix the dependency on the resources a little bit more uh, for lighting and stuff. Because we have so much wood. And that's great, but um, we also have a lot of beeswax and trying to um, make use of what we get from that as well. So, And I know that torches don't always count as like lighting as well So for some structures. So I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious of what I'm building with. But yeah, I think this will look really good. Um, give us a lot of space for the new textile and the stone stone place which will be over here which is why i put the door here because then we can put limestone and stone bricks on this side and then that
All right. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, uh, because I reset the uh, the game. Like I had to, uh, I had some problems joining uh, the game. I had to, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Um, do all these tutorials again, unfortunately. All right. So let's go ahead and send out our bard. And I want to go ahead and let's see here. What do we got for resources? We got a lot of apples. So I'll probably want to send some of those out. We're going to want to clean up some of these carrots. So I'm going to send out maybe 1,200 of those. That's going to bring us to 850 for that. Um, our cooling system for our uh, cold storage is doing really good with the um, the ice as well. Uh, it's brought it down quite a bit. We still have like majority of our crops from last uh, fall. So that's good news. Um, we still need to sell some other stuff. I don't know what we have for profit. 700 here. Um, let's see here. I'm almost wondering if we should sell some of this. Um, got deer leather here, quite a bit of it. Linen cloth, yeah, we should probably sell some of that too. Maybe a thousand of that brings us to almost two thousand in weight. Just trying to see what else I can sell. Um. Should probably sell some honey too if we can find it. Should be somewhere under H, right? So gold, herbs, honey. So we'll sell 500 of that as well. So that brings us to 120 or 2,100 in weight. So let's see if we can't get some animals to haul that out and then we'll ship them to this uh, faction. And we'll see if I can't pick up some stone bricks and stuff too, right? Actually, the more that I think about it, I don't think we're going to be able to get stone bricks from there. We'll send them off to that faction, I think. This one over here. And I'll have to redo all the uh, stuff, unfortunately. But okay, let's see here. Honey want to just ship that out. We'll probably ship it all, I think. That gives us... Oh, we actually get quite a bit for selling that, don't we? Huh, okay. Uh, we can just ship that, I guess. That's good. Uh, 800. Alright guys, so we got quite a bit of the building done. I decided to not bring it all the way down this way to that particular path. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save that 
area for developing a little bit more stuff and we're probably going to demolish this house and in time we're going to be moving the blacksmiths and stuff as well we're probably going to move them over onto this side somewhere um probably far enough away from our things uh for the what do you call it the um cold storages because we have cold storage over here so we could put it somewhere over here i guess and that will be out of the way kind of thing uh for the for that kind of stuff so i need to kind of plan out where i'm going to be putting all the heat sources and stuff the other alternative is to put them over here which could work I wanted to get rid of those houses eventually anyway, so we could put the forges down here. And then that way it's not in the direct line of where our cold storage is for these particular locations. So that could work as well. Uh, that's one option. But um, when I bring it down this way, what I want to do is I want to hook it up to that particular uh, entrance as well and then we have all this area for development and stuff and then that building won't be here and neither will that one and we'll have a little bit more space to do some stuff with but um, at the moment uh, we got most of this I got uh, purchased some stone bricks so they're coming on their way back now so they'll be heading back with the stone bricks and donkeys and stuff and that will be good I planted some apple trees along here as well just to kind of decorate it a little bit more uh, I figure because apple trees last a lot longer for granary, that would probably be better. I wouldn't mind regular trees being more similar to that, but um, at least have a longer lifespan for the mature or having another stage maybe for... Uh, because there's mature and then maybe um, elder or something like that and then dead. Elder would be like the stage where you would normally cut it. You might get a little bit uh, more wood that way and then for mature or so something like that I don't know just like kind of stage between dead and mature would be really nice I think but um, I might suggest that to the uh, developers kind of like an elder tree kind of like um, older but not quite dead yet I don't know <laughs> so, like stops like producing more I don't know but just an idea let me know what you think about the idea in the comments um yeah so that's basically what we got done if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out